What's going on everyone? Austin John please here and today we're going to be going over the 72 Pokemon that evolve as some other way other than just leveling up. In Sword and Shield. Pokemon Sword and Shield is home to 400 Pokemon in the game that evolve via various means. And if you're at the point that you're completing your Pokedex or you have a few more spaces to fill out or you're just kind of stumped on how as few of them evolve and you're too lazy to look it up online. Well, if I got good news for you, you just looked this up online and ironically contradicted yourself in my head. So let's get on with it. Of the 400 Pokemon in the game, there are 72 that evolve other than just hitting some random level, whether it be an item or trade evolution or leveling up in a very specific way. I'm going to be going over all of them and this is more of a directly informative video. So I'm going to have my Pokedex on screen here and we're going to be going through and in number order, according to the Galarian Pokedex, we're going to be talking about every Pokemon that evolves other than just hitting a certain level number. By the way, if you need to know where to get evolution stones, I have a video that I posted three hours ago. You can check it out in the card in the top corner or at the end of the video. First is Charge Bug number 17. In the previous games, it would evolve near an electric field, similar to Nose Pass. However, they've changed that for this game, and now it just needs a Thunderstone. Zigzagoon evolves to Lunoon via leveling up. However, after level 35 at nighttime, you can evolve Lunoon into Obstagoon. Lombre and Nuzleaf are version exclusive. Lombre needs a Water Stone to evolve into Ludicolo, and Nuzleaf needs a Leaf Stone to evolve into Shift Tree. Mincino needs a shiny stone to evolve into Sincino, number 51. Steeny needs to level up while knowing the move Stomp, which it learns at level 28. For Gloom to evolve into Vioplume, it needs a Leaf Stone. For it to evolve into Blossom, it needs a Sunstone. For Badoo to evolve, it requires a happiness of 220 during the day and gaining one level after reaching a happiness of 220 which could be achieved very easily by giving it a bunch of EV reducing berries and then leveling it up once. And for it to evolve into Rose Raid, it requires a Shiny Stone. Both Volpix to evolve into Ninetales and Growlithe to evolve into Arcanine require a Fire Stone. Number 76, Pillow Swine. For it to evolve into Mammoth Swine, it has to level up while knowing the move Ancient Power, which soon as Swine Up evolves into Apollo Swine, you can go to a move relearner and relearn the move. So one level after it turns into Pillow Swine, you can evolve it into Mammoth Swine. Snow Runt levels up normally and evolves into Glalie. However, female only ones, you could use a Dawnstone at any level and you can get Frostlass. For Muna or Muna to evolve into Masharna, you need to use a Moonstone. Ninkata doesn't have any special evolution requirements. However, when it hits level 20, it evolves into Ninjask and also it creates Sheninja. So in order to get Sheninja in the game, you have to evolve Ninkata at level 20 with an open Pokemon slot in your party in order to get Sheninja. Tyrogue has three evolutions, Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, and Hitmontop that it achieves at level 20. If its attack is higher than its defense, it will evolve into Hitmonlee. If its defense is higher than its attack, it will evolve into Hitmonchan. And if its attack and defense stats are equal, it will evolve into Hitmontop because it is perfectly balanced, this as all things should be. be. Pancham, upon hitting level 32, only if there is a dark type Pokemon in your party will it evolve into Pangoro. He's easily influenced and don't let him hang out with the wrong group of people. Combi evolves at level 21, but only if it's female. If it's male, it does nothing forever. Curlia can evolve into Gardevoir at any level, however, only male ones can evolve using a Dawnstone. To evolve Dusclops, it needs to be holding a Reaper Cloth, and you have to treat it, and then it will evolve into Dust Noir. It is worth noting that you could catch Dust Noir in the wild, so you don't need to actually trade away your Pokemon. Same thing for Machoke to evolve into Machamp, and for Haunter to evolve into Gengar. Both of them need to be traded in order for them to evolve, and both of them can be caught in the wild, Gengar and Machamp. Shelder evolves into Cloyster using a Water Stone. Feebas evolves into Milotic if it holds a Prism Scale while it's traded. However, you can find a Milotic in the wild in the Lake of Outrage during foggy weather. Boldor and Girder evolve into Gigalith and Concolder via trading. However, you could catch both Giglet and Concolder in the wild. Woobat evolves into Swoobat if you level it up with a high friendship level. Onyx evolves into Steelix only if it's holding a metal coat while traded. However, you could catch Steelix in the wild. Milkray evolves into Al Creamy if it's holding a special item that you get at one of the battle cafes. After you do a battle, you get an item. Make it hold that. You take your joystick and you spin it around and then you do this. 
and depending on how long you spin, the time of day or night, which direction you're going in, and several other things, in addition to the type of item that you're holding, it will change what the milk cray evolves into Al Creamy. It just changes its form, none of its stats, or anything else. Pumkaboo evolves into Gorgeist if you trade it, however you could catch Gorgeist in the wild. Pichu evolves into Pikachu if it levels up with high friendship, and Pikachu evolves into Raichu using a Thunderstone. Except for your special Let's Go Pikachu gift Pokemon. Let's talk about Eevee. It evolves into Vaporeon with a Water Stone, Jolteon with a Thunder Stone, Flareon with a Fire Stone, Espeon, High Friendship during the day, Umbreon, High Friendship at night, Leafeon has been changed and now evolves with the Leaf Stone instead of needing to be near a Mossy Stone, Glaceon is also changed and now uses an Ice Stone instead of being near an Icy Rock, Sylveon now evolves with High Friendship levels while knowing a Fairy move, or you could just catch one in the Wild Area while it's foggy in the Lake of Outrage. Applin requires a tart apple that is only obtainable in Pokemon Sword for it to evolve into Flapple, and Applin requires a sweet apple only obtainable in Pokemon Shield to evolve into Appleton. Swirlix requires it to hold a Whip Dream and then be traded to evolve into Slurp Puff, exclusive to Pokemon Sword, and Spritzy requires holding a Satchet and being traded to evolve into Aromatisse. Definitely said that one wrong. Galarian Farfetch'd needs to do three successful critical hits in one battle without being switched out or knocked out, and the battle needs to end with defeating the wild Pokemon or opponent you cannot run. This is achieved by either having Farfetch'd hold a Leak, which it has 50% of the time in the wild, or, say for example, you're in Pokemon Shield, you do not have a leak. You can get a Razor Claw, which will increase your critical hit ratio, and give it a dire hit, go fight a much higher level Metapod, and you should be able to achieve three critical hits in the battle without the leak. So Landed evolves to level 33 into Salazzle, but only the females. The males just stay boring forever. Bonsly evolves into Pseudo Wudo after it knows the move Mimic at level 16. Cleffa evolves into Clefairy with high happiness, and Clefairy evolves into Clefable using a Moonstone. Togepi evolves into Togetic with high happiness levels, and Togetic evolves into Togekiss using a Moonstone. I feel like I just said this. Munchlax evolves into Snorlax with a happiness level of 220. Cottony evolves into Whimsicott using a Sunstone. Rhydon evolves into Rhyperior if it's traded while holding a Protector. Carablast will evolve into Scavalier, and Shelmet will evolve into Selgor, only if a Carablast is traded with a Shelmet. Hope that made sense. Lampit evolves into Chandelier using a Dust Stone. Inkay evolves into Malamar anytime over level 30. However, upon completing the battle in which the Pokemon hits level 30, you have to remove your Nintendo Switch if it's in docked mode, or if you're holding a Switch Lite, you're fine. Turn the entire console with the Joy-Cons attached upside down, continue through all of the text, and then after the battle is done, it will evolve into Malamar. Can't make that up. Sneasel evolves into Weevil at nighttime while holding a Razor Claw and leveling up. Riolu evolves into Lucario when it has a happiness level of 220, but only during the daytime. I'm gonna say this wrong, but Helioptile evolves into Heliowisk using a Sunstone. Galarian Yamask evolves into Runa Regis only after Galarian Yamask has 49 HP of damage currently missing or more. After that point, you then go to the Dusty Bowl underneath this large arch. I've had some people say that this hasn't worked, in which case I recommend saving your game outside of the Dusty Bowl, closing your copy of the game, relaunching the game, and then going back there. Or try leaving the wild area and coming back to the wild area. I've heard some weird fixes for this, but that's how it works. It worked my first time. Actually, it worked my first time three times, so. Dewblade evolves to Aegislash using a Dust Stone. Sinistee evolves into Pulte Geist using the Crack Pot if it's the phony form, which it most likely is, or if you have the rare 1% antique form, it will use the Chipped Pot. Vantup evolves into Trevenant via trading. Snom evolves into Frost Moth if its happiness level is 220, but only at nighttime. Clobopus evolves into Grep Clot if it learns the move Taunt, which it learns at level 35. Mantike evolves into Mantine only if there is a Remoraid in the party after leveling up. Mime Jr. evolves into Mr. Mime if it learns the move Mimic at level 32. If this happens to be in Galar, then it evolves into Galarian Mr. Mime. Galarian Darumaka evolves into Galarian Darumantian using an Ice Stone. Type Null requires you to have a friendship level of 220 and level it up. Definitely want to save your berries for that one. Slagoo evolves into Gudra at level 50 
but only if it's raining in the overworld when it's leveling up. And just to future proof this video, Time travel! Cosmium evolves into Solgaleo at level 53 but only in Pokemon Sword, and Cosmium evolves into Lunala only at level 53, only in Pokemon Shield. There you have it guys, all 72 Pokemon that evolve other than just simply leveling up. I hope this video was helpful and informative and lets you figure out some Pokemon that you can't figure out. Anyways, if you learned something new, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.